Hello everyone. So uh, today is second of June and uh, th today was weekly expiry and uh, we saw a lot of put shots today. So uh, let's discuss what happened actually today and uh, also uh, let's try to analyze the end of the day data and uh, find out what uh, uh, future uh, is like uh, what tomorrow or the next week or what can we expect. So. First of all, coming to uh, the end of the day data. So as you can see that uh, futures, long positions. But, uh, so always I do FIIs analysis. If you are doing all, all the analysis, clients, DIIs, FIIs, uh, pro, uh, prop decks. So uh, you will be confused because overall uh, the, uh, the whole, uh, uh, I mean, whole positions are balanced. The number of uh, short positions and the number of long positions would be balanced, right? So if someone is doing short, uh, so someone would be there to uh, take the long position. So yeah, that's uh, that's why I just only analyze the FIS data. And uh, FIS data says that uh, they have been closing, const constantly closing the futures long positions and uh, building up futures uh, short positions. But today, uh, not much short positions have been made. Okay, so all it uh, says that uh, the up move will be limited. Okay, and then uh, comes uh, the uh, if you look at uh, the option chain data, so uh, you can't say much, but there is only one thing that is if you see that the put long positions, so the put short positions with respect to that, the put long positions are, are a little more than that. Okay, so whatever is required for hedging of these put shot positions, that is uh, uh, 174, 764. So uh, I think uh, put long positions are a little more than uh, that required for hedging. Okay, so uh, again, it's a sell on rise market as I've been telling you. And also let's come and look at the chart. So for bank nifty, it was like, this level was very nicely giving resistance so as you can see 35,627 i already told you yesterday i showed you yesterday so for consecutive three days okay it's not like i have drawn this level uh, looking at this candle or whatever this candle okay so you can go and check in the past i have been uh, i have drawn this level a long way uh, before so uh, long before I have drawn this level and you, as you can see that only if you leave this day these four days all uh, I mean where got, all got stuck there at these le at the level 35,627 okay so throughout the day uh, if you look at uh, nifty bank so uh, this level it couldn't break so uh, I mean call shots above this level was recommended today uh, uh, so even yesterday I told you the same strategy and when market opened also in the group we discussed the same strategy okay so uh, so uh, again this level would be the one to watch out for even tomorrow so now coming to nifty nifty this level 16,459 I have been constantly telling you for over a month so this level acted as support previous day today also it acted as support and then you can see so if you look at the charts so in the morning we took some call shot positions at 16600 and then market twice came down violently as you can see and then we were just waiting for uh, the second trade but uh, we were not getting any correct signal though there were put shot positions that have uh, that were being made but the main problem was that even yesterday i told you that if put shot positions are being made on expiry day then they will be staying okay they are not like uh, intraday made and will be closed today as it happened on the previous two days okay so uh, put uh, short position uh, positions were made market was taken up and then uh, gradually the put, uh, short positions were closed during the intraday just to fool the retail traders but today even i told you yesterday today is an exception because it's thursday expiry day okay 
so once they are doing put shot positions uh, so uh, i mean it if it's only for intraday so today is intraday and as well as weekly expiry so obviously they would continue their position till the end of the hour so though they were, they were doing put shots but still we did not go for it because uh, anything could have happened because uh, the call shots uh, the big players were also at the call shots position and that's why it's not like uh, as i discussed in the previous week that uh, even the put shots can be done like this that is uh, the big players so there can be two big players okay and they would partner up and one would do uh, one would do short and one would buy okay and uh, they would build, build up the oi and finally what happens is that uh, i mean they don't go at any loss okay so i mean the buyer who will be lo uh, losing so that money will go to its partner and then they will share the money so that could have been done so that's why i did not go for it but at the e very end when at even 16600 put shots were being formed then we went for the put shots and we uh, grabbed some nice premium so until I'll, you see that it's not necessary that you have to take a trade if you do like the uh, that then probability is higher that you will lose so whenever you are at least 90 to 95 percent so when I, whenever i am 90 more than 95 percent then only uh, i uh, take a trade or i tell my members to take a trade so you have to be if you want to be consistent on the stock market and if you want to stay here then you have to be uh, you have to be like uh, follow your analysis and uh, also you have to be very sure about your analysis okay so and you have to be disciplined first of all so yeah that's the thing so as you can see that uh, market twice came down and then uh, sharply the score recovered and then the score recovered but you see the score overall recovered and uh, it was very near about 50 okay so the line 50 okay so that's why and it was not also coming down sharply so that and uh, nifty went up but uh, we did not go for call long though we put shot was being done we did not go for call long uh, uh, because at 16600 as well as 16650 there were uh, big players present okay and that's why I told that much up move is not expected though at 16600 put side uh, uh, shorting was done okay and as you can see that uh, there was not much upside like I think it in uh, nifty ends at, at 16628 okay so yeah so that's that's how we uh, got to know that though there will be some up move but uh, though the score was around 50 so that means strength is there but still the scores are though uh, new short positions are being made at 16600 the scores were not moving higher so that means up move was limited and that's why we did not go for call buying and uh, we did put shots and the same thing for like bank nifty was very i mean though nifty went up a little bit but bank nifty was almost staying the same okay so always um, it tried many times to cross this level but did not so for bank nifty it was a pretty easy day and uh, yes so if you can see here that there was a huge gap in the score and bank nifty and uh, the bank nifty recovered and then it went up and then again the gap formed and again it went up uh, sorry it went down so and again here as you can see the gap formed the uh, bank nifty went up so uh, but if you look at just the score graph so it's almost flat just moving a little above zero and a little below zero okay and uh, here it jumped here it sharply jumped and the score also jumped but then the score started decreasing and uh, there was some gap which and it came down and it almost matched the score uh, so that's how it went and uh, always i tell you that if there is some gap between the score 
and the graph it always recovers so here as you can see nifty and uh, its code there was a gap and see the gap was tried to close down again formed some gap gap tried to close down here and uh, here finally again nifty went up and there was some gap that was formed okay so that's why i told that no uh, so the up move won't be uh, up move would be limited so uh, and uh, it would end above 16600 because uh, put shots were done heavily put shots were done and uh, finally the 16600 call writers were also even shifting but uh, the finally the big players at 16600 did not make any loss because yesterday if you go and see when the big players were taking short positions the price was at 48 48 49 and sometimes 50 so they took their positions at those level uh, at those prices okay even i took yesterday and today morning the price went down to almost 10 rupees so they made profit okay so no doubt even if they uh, lasted till uh, till they were till the end then also I, I, it ends at 28 rupees so still they were in profits okay so uh, they were not at loss uh, and all these updates i have also uh, just go and check the uh, telegram channel uh, messages all uh, logics everything is there try to read them and uh, try try to uh, learn from them and uh, that's it so nothing uh, for uh here so nothing for tomorrow so tomorrow we have to so the, for the next week expiry so we have to observe what, what, what i mean where the new positions are getting formed so uh, for now for bank nifty this would be the level uh, 35627 and for nifty i would say that since futures short positions are being built up so what you can do is uh since nifty is almost around 16600 so and at 16200 so if you go at one day chart so at, since at 16821 there is some uh resistance and as you have seen here the resistance is uh, i mean my line is there but the resistance is almost acting from here uh 16606 so you can consider it as 16700 okay so if by any chance it goes near about 16700 also or it opens flat tomorrow so one thing you can do is you can go and uh, buy puts in the money puts at uh, 16800 okay Uh, or sixteen thousand seven hundred, or maybe sixteen thousand six hundred. Okay, so there is a very nice chance that uh, Nifty would come down. So obviously, sixteen thousand seven hundred or sixteen thousand eight hundred would surely act as resistance, and that is also uh, supporting the futures short positions. So there is a very nice chance to make profit by the buying puts. but you have to buy it for long term so you don't know uh, you see that nifty is uh, for this week it's uh, for these uh, last four days it's trading between these two levels okay so the there is a high chance that now it's uh, around 16600 so if even if it goes near to this or uh, and if it falls if it crosses this level then it's at 16200 the next level so that means if you are uh, taking put short positions at 16006 uh, okay let's see what's the price for and you have to do it in the monthly okay so don't do it next week we, we are not sure again the next week same range same thing can happen so let's see uh, what's the monthly expiry uh, so here 20 30 june okay so 30 june monthly expiry is there so let's see what's the price so 16 so there are uh, i think five expiry this month so one gone 2 3 4 5 so five expiry so i don't think uh, the future sh short positions that have been built now 
so they would stay that long but uh, let's see 16800 so the current price is 418 okay even if you go to 16700 so the current price is uh, 369 okay so if this goes down even till 16200 then this price is going to go more than 500 rupees okay so that means if you are buying at 369 so uh, i mean if it goes next week or the next week there is a chance that this price would go to 600 okay so and or, or even almost you can double this okay and if you are buying at 16600 also puts so 322 so it's a high chance that it would get double by the end of this month okay and yeah so that that would be one of the strategy for this month because uh, it's a sell on rise market and it's almost near to its resistance point that is 16700 we can see that the resistance is coming but my resistance level is at 16821 so let's consider that at 16800 so okay fine no problem but uh, since there is a resistance at this point so obviously it would be good if you are going for put long in the monthly expiry and if uh, you, what would be a stop loss that is if nifty crosses this line 16821 and makes a green candle above this close your uh, uh, close your trade okay so that would be a stop loss but uh, i think this would be a nice because the future short positions that are being made so they the fiis won't close them for for loss so that's why uh, i mean if this level gets and if you are very lucky then this level can also get broken that is 16184 and then it can almost go to 16000 15800 uh, okay then there would be a huge profit like your money can get uh, tripled okay so if you are buying at 16600 so 600 plus 200 800 rupees and you are buying at suppose 322 so more than double almost it can become thrice so that would be the strategy and that's it so uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, keep learning keep watching and uh, for updates during the live market hours please follow me on twitter thanks for watching see you in the next one